Hello, welcome to today's version of Give Him 15. Let's partner with the Lord together and make a difference today. The title of this post is, This Week is Very Important. We stay focused on the Lord first and foremost as we move through this season of battle for America. We also pay attention to what is happening governmentally. Rudy Giuliani, leading the Trump campaign's legal team, gave us an update just before Christmas regarding the week we are now in. Mr. Giuliani is a strong and determined patriot. He's willing to pay the cost for our republic and our president. Even though he has been shut out of most media outlets and several of the campaign's lawsuits have been rejected in the courts, who are intent on staying out of the battle, by the way, he is dauntless. He hasn't backed down. In fact, he has increased the judicial filings. He is determined that what he knows is election fraud will eventually be proven and acted on. New information is coming forth every day. More and more individuals are coming forward with what they have seen. The president's counsel is trying to fit as many of these complaints into their lawsuits as they can verify. Rudy Giuliani provided a video update December 23rd on the Trump campaign's legal filings. He told us to watch Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Arizona, and Wisconsin, which now have what appears to be significant verified election fraud. As we have stated before, these allegations could lead to the decertification of the vote in those states. Giuliani said, so starting after Christmas, this is really going to blow up because the evidence that all these crooked television networks, newspapers, big tech, and the leadership of the Democratic Party have been giving you is false. And you're going to find that, that and you're going to find that out all at once. It's going to be very shocking to the country, he said. By the way, when we searched for the video, we couldn't find it. Only the media, talk shows, Saturday Night Live, and others mocking and discrediting it, discrediting it could be found. Censor, the censorship was in full swing. We finally located it on his YouTube channel, which you can get to by clicking on right here, the link we've provided. Today is the beginning of the week Giuliani referenced. Let us press in and believe together that everything will be exposed and that justice will be served for the American people. It may be through the courts, as really Giuliani is fighting for, or through state legislatures fighting to de decertify the votes. It is also possible that the solution might be with the U.S. Congress when they meet to accept or deny the electors on January 6th. We don't know how God will do it, but that is not our role. We are to pray and believe a pathway will be found. Personally, I believe this week is huge in the spirit. And I'm not basing this on what Mr. Giuliani said. I feel that many actions and plans will be launched between now and Saturday, probably by both sides. Please engage all week. Though the election battle won't end in its legal sense, it is possible that the outcome 
could be determined by humans this week. Keep it in God's hand through prayer. We are the modern day Reese Howells company. We are the modern day Reese Howells company of intercessors fighting not only for America's future, but also for other nations. I say again, please engage. The prophetic has certainly engaged at a new level. Five, yes, I said five significant dreams were given Saturday night to members of the team I've been working with. Key players were mentioned by name. Strategies were given. And strategies of the enemy were revealed. It seems as though I'm living. Ezra 6, 14. The elders of the Jews were successful in building through the prophesy of Haggai and Zechariah. What a great verse. The elders were successful in building because the prophets came alongside and helped them, knowing, sharing with them what God was saying. I have certainly never been part of a spiritual assignment in which the prophetic anointing has played such a significant role. And finally, consider doing more than just praying. Speaking at the Turning Point USA conference on December 19th, U.S. Congressman from Texas, Louis Gohmert, said, The people of the United States are going to have to demand that all evidence be brought forward to the public. And you have got to make your voices heard to convince everyone you know that the garbage out there about no fraud in this election is the biggest fraud about this election. Regarding the joint meeting of the U.S. Congress on January 6th, he said, Make sure your senators and representatives know they work for you and you expect them to stand up against the fraud and make their voices heard. They are your voice in Washington, so tell them that if they don't use their voices against this fraud, they won't have a voice in Washington at all. And you can click right here to send a message to all U.S. Senators and here to each U.S. Representative asking them to do the right thing on your behalf. Psalm 77 verse 19 says, Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters. A pathway no one knew was there. As you think about prayer today, here are some things you can consider doing, praying. Ask the Lord for great breakthrough this week. Ask the Lord for his destiny for America to be reawakened. Declare that America has been reset into her destiny. We just need it to begin to manifest now and come forth. That's the season we're moving into. It doesn't matter whether this victory manifests through the courts, the state lawmakers, or Congress. Just ask the Lord to do it. Declare that God will move quickly now, as he promised in Romans 16, 20. The God of peace will quickly crush Satan under your feet. Intercede for Rudy Giuliani and the Trump campaign attorneys. Determined to come alongside them in war in the spirit realm as they work hard for us in the natural realm. These next two weeks are critical. Pray for the evil that has come into our nation, especially at the government level, will be exposed and dealt with. Amen. A prayer. We can pray together. Let's do it right now. 
Lord, you are the God of miracles. We need you to work miracles for America. Release your wisdom and power. Destiny decisions will be made in the next two weeks. We ask for the destiny you have for us. In fact, Lord, according to Matthew 16, where you said, command your kingdom to come and your will to be done, we command forth the destiny that you have for America. We decree it will manifest. Your word in Romans 16, 20 tells us, the God of peace will quickly crush Satan under your feet. So we say, Lord, do it now. Crush every work of Satan against this nation now. In the spirit, we can hear the crushing. Rudy Giuliani and his team of lawyers are fighting tirely for us. Lord, we commit to fight in the spiritual realm alongside them. And we ask you to motivate many to do so and to do as Representative Louis Gohmert encouraged to let our senators and congressmen know exactly how we want them to represent us. Lord, we ask for Holy Spirit strategies and understanding to spring forth this week. We ask that evil forces of darkness will be pushed back and angels will dominate the air over America. Just as Daniel's prayers empowered angelic warfare that dislodged the principality of Persia, we ask that ours do the same. If angels fighting for us need Michael's assistance, please send him with his war army. Rend the heavens this week. And Lord, we are not unaware of the potential for violence over this election. We ask and believe that you will give us victory over that as well. We boldly declare that you will arise and your enemies will be scattered. Psalm 68, 1. Let your judgments bring to justice those who foment and conduct violence and protect the innocent, we pray. We thank you for these things and ask, ask them in the authority of Christ. Amen. And our decree today is, we will be faithful in prayer and action, and the God of breakthrough will prevail. Amen. <laughs>